What is up guys, Adrian Avina here. Behind me I have my brand new rig for the 2023 season. And I had a lot of you guys following along whenever I was rigging up electronics and stalling trolling motors. So you know what, here is the boat tour video. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start in the front. This here is the Bass Cat Puma STS. So it's a brand new haul for me. Um, you know, I've ran a lot of the Eras, the Cougars, the Pumas, but never the Puma STS. This boat is ginormous. It's the biggest bass cat I've ever ran. And uh, honestly, you know, I've only got like five or six hours on it so far, um, but I'm starting to get it dialed in and I'm liking it more and more every single day. The cool thing, so we're gonna start up front. The cool thing about bass cat is bass cat actually uh, builds all their own trailers. So this trailer is uh, it, from, from all the way up here at the tongue. If you look right here, there's actually a brake system. So there's no chocks needed whenever you're, say, if you're on a hill, if you're at an Airbnb like we are right now. Um, I don't have to worry about any chocks on the wheels. I get ahead and I just engage that brake, which is huge. Another cool thing the Bascat trailers is a swing tongue. I have a swing tongue here. So for guys that are putting these trailers or are putting these boats in a, uh, in a garage or a smaller space, you know, we were just at a hotel last night and we had to actually break that tongue uh, to make sure nobody's going to run into it. So uh, that's the trailer. It's a dual axle trailer. Um, but I'm going to start talking about the boat a little bit. You know, we spent a lot of time up here. Uh, this here is the bow of this, uh, of this Bass Cat. I have the Lowrance Ghost trolling motor. Been running these trolling motors now for three years. And, uh, you know, I ran, I ran uh, you know, the Fortrix, the Ultrix. And when I got this Ghost, this Ghost is just night and day difference when it comes down to how powerful it is um and uh, this here is a 45 inch shaft you see i have the active target installed on it uh, these days without forward facing sonar honestly i don't know how you're going to compete uh, but i have two graphs up front i'm actually going to hop up here real quick i'm going to show you the setup i got boat logic mounts uh, both here at the bow and then also over there at the console but this here is just a stack mount. You can see it's super sturdy. <laughs> if you guys watched Major League Fishing last year, there was actually um, one sequence of events of me actually catching one off a of bed and I was actually standing on this. So let me just tell you, it's a very, very durable bracket. Um, but that's kind of it, man. I, I, I like running two units. I use one dedicated for forward facing sonar and then the other unit, you know, I run a map and a 2D. Um, but I mean anymore, you know, 2D is almost obsolete. I mean, it's all forward-facing sonar stuff uh, But this here If you guys know bass cats and if you know cougars and pumas my camera guy just stepped in a giant mud puddle Just zoom down real quick. <laughs> look, look at what you just did. My man just stepped in the only, That is the only puddle in this whole yard and my man just stepped in. Uh, Dude, I think I, we I, just I, made that puddle. I'm not gonna lie. That, that was kind of funny. So um, Gosh dang, made me even lose my train of thought. What the heck, bro? But uh, no, so this bass cat, you actually can. Uh, you're not. You're not all the way up there like like you are with the with the ear and the cougar. You can actually step back. You're not stepping on any rods, um, which is which is cool. You know, it's just a much wider wider deck. Um, but I know you guys probably already know. You know, the Lawrence Ghost feature. Uh, one of the cool things is uh, just by the press of a button you could change it from a 24 volt to a 36 volt uh, which is really cool you know if you ever run into bind and the battery quits out on you whatever you got it but uh massive front deck i keep the front main one right here that's just for all my tackle i keep like 30 rods if you want to come over here real quick i'll just show you i mean you can put a pile of rods in here i mean i've got i've got 40 of them in there right now i mean you can just fit an absolute ton of them I know when I was rigging, rigging up the front of the boat, I mean, I, you know, I'm 6'3", 200 pounds, and I was literally laying in that rod box, through bolt and everything up there, because I don't know about you guys, screws are all right, through bolts are forever. So I through bolt everything, you know, my brackets, um, you know, it's just, uh, it's just an absolute must. Um, but I'm going to get ahead, show you the console a little bit. It's just super clean, you know, I'm not one of them guys that's got 15 units on the boat. You know, I got two up front, two at the console. Uh, again. Dual bracket by Boat Logics, super stupid sturdy. Um, they're mounted nice and low, so I can see over these graphs really well. And uh, just Lowrance 12s. You know, I, I run, I run actually two side scan transducers. So that's you know, people probably ask me about why I do that. Um, I got, I got a two-in-one active imaging, and I got three-in-one. I, 
you know, depending on, uh, you know, if I rip one off on a stump or whatever, I got another backup and I kind of like to alternate on them a little bit. Um, you know, sometimes I can see a little bit better with the one over the other. Uh, but the back of the boat, pretty simple. You know, Bass Cat has probably some of the biggest live wells in freshwater boats. Um, it's super, super good whenever you catch them big bags. But for us, at Major League Fishing, we use them as trash cans. So, I mean, they don't really run too much. Trash cans. <laughs> so right now, there's actually not much trash because it's a new boat. Hey, it's still good. Clean out your trash cans. God <laughs> dang, dude. Well, let me show you a cool feature. So, Bass Cat, if you want to zoom in real quick right on this. So we just changed our lids. Um, so now it's actually a different type of uh of lock here on each lid so literally all you do is you just go ahead press it down it locks you can lock each individual lid which is cool you head press that button pops up grab it super super clean nifty i like it but a cool feature they've got they actually had this to uh, my last year's bass cap and i want to go over it with you guys um this right here is actually a dedicated compartment that wasn't getting used it's actually in the front side of the gas tanks and it's for your power pole pumps. So if you get ahead, if you zoom in on this, um, you got really good access to it. You know, God forbid, you know, you got to work on one of these power pole pumps. Now, mind you, um, they don't really uh, have much issues with them. But um, if you need to add a little bit of fluid for whatever reason, you know, you get low or something like that, you can. Or if you have to, you know, swap a pump out. Say if you do have an issue, uh, which is extremely rare. But um, it's nice having that easy access. So we'll uh, we'll hop over hop over to the back of the boat. This is probably something that uh, that I'm not gonna lie. I'm probably most excited about to show you guys. You know, everybody has uh, you know their way of rigging up boats. Um, you know, that's one thing that I personally like to do whenever I order my boats. Um, I have Bass Cat literally send me the boat, not rigged at all, and I like doing all the rigging myself. Um, two reasons. One, um, you know, if something were to happen, um, I know where to go. You know, I know where the problem more than likely is because I'm the one that installed it. Um, and the other thing is I like, I like upsizing everything. So if you can see right here, I've got individual dedicated 10 gauge wire going to each unit, okay? So now I'm cutting out on any type of interference I've got a dedicated 12 volt battery just for my electronics. Um, and that's huge because uh, between size scan and forward facing sonar, you really need that. You need, you need a lot of power going to them at all times. You know, a lot of times, you know, we're putting 15, 16 hour days in the summertime and I don't have any power issues. Okay, and then I have another 12 volt battery that literally controls everything else. You know, so my um, you know, my, my pumps, my lights, uh, my live wells, um, literally all of that other stuff, including cranking this brand new 250, which I'm super excited about, which I'm going to talk to you guys about it here in a little bit. So for me, I've got two 12 volt batteries in parallel, and these are MTech lithium 12 volt cranking batteries um that i mean literally i can't burn them like it's impossible like they're literally going to last forever and and uh the cool thing about these batteries they come with a 10-year warranty on them um and that's about as high as you're going to see in the industry um and then we're going to slide over here to the other side cool feature to bass cats is you know we're always trying to say we're trying to work in the bilge or whatever these things here actually come off so i'm going to take that off and then on my other side, I've got two 36 volt lithium batteries. So instead of going with 12 volt batteries, this year I decided to go with two 36 volt batteries and again, running them in parallel. Um, and and uh, man, I don't think it's going to be possible. I mean, if you guys want to comment below in the sections and ask me towards the end of the season, um, if I burn these batteries, I, I highly doubt it's gonna happen. I mean, I literally have been down here in Florida now. This is my second day. We put in two long days out in the water and I still am showing 90% battery life. These are all controlled on an app. So if I wanna look at an app, all I gotta do is pull it up on my phone and I can see the condition of these batteries. 
Um, so that's that's pretty sweet, you know, when it comes down to it. This Bass Cat in particular, the Puma STS, has two tanks. They're two roughly 31 gallon tanks, so it's a little bit more fuel uh, than your traditional Puma in your era. Those were 26 gallon tanks. Um, so having, you know, that little bit of extra fuel capacity uh, is big when it comes down to, you know, fishing some of them places like the St. Lawrence River where you're making really long runs. Uh, or I remember a tournament down south in Texas where I was running all the way to Houston, um, which was a really, really long run. Uh, but having that extra fuel capacity is sweet. Um, but let's talk about maybe back here. You know, we got a lot of stuff going on back here. So let me hop back down. I'm going to show you. Okay, I personally, you know, you see a lot of guys out there um, running eight foot power poles. Me personally, whenever you get ahead and you go with these longer power poles, these here are the 10 foot blades. You don't see the reason for going back to eight footers. You know, I mean, there's a lot of times, you know, you're in that six and a half, seven foot depth and you go ahead and you have your eight, put, uh, eight foot poles and you go ahead and you, you know, you press the button and they go down. Well, if it's real soft bottom or if it's real hard bottom and you're a little bit of chop, they're not going to hold well. These 10 footers, they'll hold extremely well in that eight, nine foot zone, uh, which a lot of times, you know, that's, that seems to be what I'm fishing is a lot of that, you know, that six to, you know, eight, nine feet. Um, so I have two of them on the back of this boat. I've got a Atlas jack plate, which we're here in Florida. That's a, that's a big deal. Whether you're in shallow water or you're in rough water, um, it's really nice to have a hydraulic jack plate on it. But probably the most important gem, and this, this here, this here's my baby. This is the workhorse. This is the brand new, let me say, brand new Suzuki. We had an amazing four stroke before this, but let me just tell you, this right here completely changes the game of four strokes. Super excited to run it. Like I said, I only got about four or five hours on it. Uh, but not only does it look beautiful, I mean, just look at the thing. It looks mean. It looks, I don't know if it's beautiful or mean, but it just looks good. All right. And uh, the whole shot on it's tremendous. But one of the biggest things uh, that's different with this motor, and I had a lot of questions already about it, is it's all fly by wire. Suzuki now has their very own foot control. Uh, but the cool thing about it, why it's so cool, you guys are asking me, okay, whatever, you know, like uh, for Yamaha, you can have that, or for a Mercury, you can have that. For the old 250, which was an absolute powerhouse Suzuki, you know, we had a hot foot. Well, the cool thing about this now, which kind of sets it apart, is when you're making them super long runs, and I know you guys have done this, it doesn't matter if you're running 15, 20 miles, or if you're making them hero runs from, you know, Messina all the way to the lake, now with a press of a button you can change it from being a foot control to now you're using the shift actuator as your main source of throttle um, now you're, you're not switching back and forth with your feet you go ahead and you use that you sit back you chill you use your blinker trim which you know, i didn't talk about it but you know i mean it seems like any more bass boats these days you want to have two hands on your wheel at all times so i've got my control for my hydraulic jack plate and that I have good blinker trim for my motor um, and that's huge uh, when it comes down to it and then you have your digital smart gauge over there on the left hand side that literally tells me everything it tells me fuel burn tells me how much fuel I got in the boat uh, tells me how many hours I've got on it. it literally tells me everything that is going on with that motor behind me um, and that was kind of quick you know we uh, we burned through it but that was the walkthrough to my 2023 rig. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And uh, I'd love to tell you guys more about it. But in a nutshell, that is what we got. If you have any other questions, feel free to holler. But man, we're out. My man, Mark, let me just tell you. We've all had mistakes in our career. We've all done <laughs> stupid stuff. Bro, that is how we are kicking the video. But hey, my man, it just came from the first event of the year. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Watching that, you dropped the bag that first day. It made me jealous. And then Jacob caught a 20 pound bag yesterday, but Mark did something goofy. But I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you talk about it. <laughs> hey, that's gonna be the title. That's gonna be a video all by itself. Biggest mistake of my life. Yes. Wow.